Mary here, Angels Love and Light, all over social media. My website is www.angeliclifeguidance.com and this is our weekly reading, our journey back to love, August 14th. How is August going for you? We were told it was going to be intense. Um, yeah, it's unreal, but for the highest good, we are where we're meant to be, doing what we're meant to be doing, receiving the curveballs we're receiving, and uh, going with the flow, trusting and believing. So here I am, shuffling these little deck of cards. <coughs> Ashley Snow's Whimsical Oracle, I think they were called. They're not on sale anymore. One word cards or two words and um, I choose five of them. See where they take us. I have the Surrender deck here and other decks. There's two of them after falling now and we'll see. <laughs> stop. So, quiet time, stop, don't do anything for the moment. Now, that was kind of what happened to me yesterday. Somebody did that to me. But I have to say, I know it's for the highest good. It's for my highest good. It's for everybody around me's highest good. And I'm on a new part of my journey now. So it was like red light, stop. And... The thing is, yeah, there's a halt being put to something that was um, that I was doing, which was for the highest good, but obviously it needs to be stopped at the moment, and I'm waiting for guidance as to my next step. I know what I have to be doing and what I have to be preparing. So that's fine. It's not that I'm going to be at a halt. It's just I'm at a stop sign for now and there's a fork in the road and it's given me time to stop at the red light and look. You know, find the next step. So if that's the energy around you, don't worry. It's fine. It's going to be cool. It's going to be all right. It's just giving you time now. There's no big uh, leaps of faith. You're just being stopped. You're being shown the roads. You're being shown your choices. Feel your inner gut feeling of what is right for you. What feels right? If you go down that road, does it feel right? You mightn't be able to see down the end of the road. But the first one, two steps, does that feel right for you? The end product of where you think you're going, does that feel right for you? So it may just be heads up, this is where I am at the moment, so it may be coming for some of you, or some of you may have hit it last week or the week before. So it's good. Everything that happens is for the good. Family. Okay. Do you need help from your family? Do you need to connect with your family? Your soul family is what's coming to mind with me. Those that are always there for you, even as a listening ear. They're the ones you need to connect with. The people that are of like mind with you, that understand these stop signs and these forks in the road and these curveballs. They're the people you need to be connecting with at the moment. Uh, so that choose five, didn't I? I'm, a bit, I'm breathing. Breathing. So don't forget to breathe. And go out in the fresh air and breathe and drink your water as well. If there's any curveballs happening with you, <laughs> connection with nature. Okay, so outside, connect with nature. Hug a tree, be near water, drink your water, take care of yourself. This is, this too shall pass. It's a step in a new direction. 
and it's all for the highest good. The tides have turned, the moons, these eclipses, this month, we were told, we were told that things would change. So things are changing and things have changed and things are all in the new. Okay, so it's okay. Um, mind yourself too, like we've gone through this 8-8 portal, we've gone through the partial lunar eclipse, so this, not solstice, the oh, lunar eclipse, solar eclipse is coming up, I think the 21st of August, and we're in Mercury retrograde. So the planets are affecting us and triggering us and moving us forward onto the paths the new paths we're supposed to be on. The old paths weren't wrong paths. It's just time now to shuffle the deck a bit and uh, see new ways. And they might not be the ways that you thought you were going to be going. Um, but trust. Trust your instincts. Trust your gut. Trust your signs. And make sure it's okay with you. If a choice is put in front of you, does this feel right to move this way on it? And the angels, don't forget, you have your angels and your spirit guides around you. Connect with them. Meditation, eight, infinity number, and August, and abundance. And uh, lamb, gentleness, kindness to yourself, compassion, and others too. Don't throw negative energy at others that may trigger you, because... That's not your, um, it's not in your highest good. You know, like we can say, send them love and light. It's extremely hard at times, but just say, not my circus, not my monkeys. What's my job? What have I to do? Nurture me like a little lamb. Look after me. What feels right to me? Okay strong message there and funny how I was prepared yesterday for it myself right surrender card oh there's one after flipping on the floor surrender the idea that you can fix someone that's just what I was saying there your path is your path not your monkeys not your business look back on my second last video maybe what's my job your job is looking after you your job is making decisions in your life that affect you and it's going to bring you to a place of joy peace love and happiness and put you on your path of sending all that energy out to the planet your job is not, well maybe it is, it depends on who we're talking to, but my job is not putting negativity out onto the planet. My job is uh, bringing peace, love, joy and happiness within me and emanating that out, people feeling my energy. Now, we've always been told that the higher we go, and the brighter our light becomes that it triggers other people or it, it yeah, brings the lower energies out of the woodwork. Now lower energies to me are fear and doubt and not being free and those. Like I'm not looking at deep dark energies of violence and all that I'm talking about my life and what has been brought to light for me uh, through different experiences during the week and this curveball is actually for my highest good but the person who threw the curveball is not in the same vibration as me so I don't need to connect with it I come back into myself, I ask myself, what's in my highest good? Do I need to go into battle? Or do I need to walk around the big stone and find an easy way and a peaceful way of managing it? 
So you can't fix anybody else. You can't walk anybody's path for them. You can only look after you and your highest needs and your children, maybe whoever is closest to you. Um, but other people outside of yourself, they're not your problem and their path are not your problem. Last card. Surrender your addictions. So to me, before I read this, past patterns. Let go of, if you're in a situation that reminds you of something you went through before, look at it. What did you do before that brought you to a right place, a happy, peaceful place? What did you do before that brought you to a negative, fearful, scary place? So just watch your patterns. Look at what's going on. Your stop sign. You've been given time. You've been given time to observe, appreciate, evaluate before you take your next step. Okay? Now addictions too, of course, can the drink and the drugs and overeating and addictive behaviours and needing people in your life uh, codependency, all that kind of stuff. But I think, to me, at the moment, all those cards are your repeating patterns. Watch what you did before, what worked, what didn't work, and what brings you to a place of peace, joy, harmony, and happiness. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Now, I'm also seeing the mask. Being your true, authentic self. Once again, looking back at your addictions from the past, you've come so far, you've learned so much. So be your new, true, authentic self and put that into action. That's a beautiful mask though, isn't it? <laughs> so love and light to you. Have a great, great week and I'll be back midweek for the Twin Flame reading, please God. Meanwhile, I'm available for mentorship, email readings, video readings, Skype readings and phone readings. www.angelicalifeguidance.com I've also put a mixture of stuff up on Gumroad. I'll leave the link below. They're very cheap MP3s and videos, $1.99, $2.99, um, $0.99, cent, um, just teaching through some of the cards and giving my own experiences as well on the headings of the cards because I went through every card in the pack I've experienced some of it myself. I mean, we're not on this journey not to learn anything. And if I'm helping other people, I have actually experienced everything that I am helping others with. So love and light to you and we'll talk to you during the week, please God.